Ivan Konstantinovich Ivazovsky was a prominent Russian-Armenian painter, widely recognized for his stunning seascapes and marine landscapes. Born on July 29, 1817 in the Crimean town of Theodosia, Ivazovsky showed an early talent for art and began studying painting at a young age. Ivazovsky's artistic career took off when he entered the Imperial Academy of Arts in St. Petersburg in 1833. He soon gained recognition for his exceptional talent and unique style, which focused primarily on the beauty and power of the sea. Throughout his career, Ivazovsky produced over 6,000 paintings, sketches, and drawings, with the vast majority of his works depicting marine scenes. One of Ivazovsky's most famous paintings is The Ninth Wave, which depicts a massive wave crashing down on a ship in the middle of a stormy sea. This painting perfectly captures Ivazovsky's mastery of light, color, and movement, and is considered a masterpiece of Russian art. Ivazovsky's paintings were not only celebrated for their technical skill and beauty, but also for their ability to evoke emotion and capture the awe-inspiring power of the sea. His works often featured dramatic lighting, turbulent waters, and dynamic compositions, making them instantly recognizable and highly sought after by collectors and art enthusiasts. In addition to his paintings, Ivazovsky was a skilled and prolific illustrator, producing numerous sketches and drawings that showcased his talent for capturing the natural world in stunning detail. He also worked as a teacher, mentor, and advocate for the arts playing a key role in the development of the Russian art scene during the 19th century. Overall, Ivan Ivazovsky's legacy as a world-renowned artist remains strong to this day. His works continue to be admired and studied by art lovers around the globe, and his contributions to the world of art are considered invaluable. Ivazovsky passed away on May 2, 1900 leaving behind a rich and diverse body of work that cements his status as one of the greatest painters of all time. Ivan Konstantinovich Ivazovsky originally Avazian, July 29, 1817 to May 5, 1900, was a Russian painter of Armenian descent living and working in Crimea, most famous for his seascapes, which constitute more than half of his paintings. Ivazovsky was born in the town of Theodosia, Theodosia, Crimea, Russian Empire, modern-day Ukraine, to a poor Armenian family. His parents' family name was Avazian. Some of the artist's paintings bear a signature, in Armenian letters, Hovenis Avazian. His talent as an artist earned him sponsorship and entry to the Simferopol Gymnasium No. 1 and later the St. Petersburg Academy of Arts, which he graduated with a gold medal. Earning awards for his early landscapes and seascapes, he went on to paint a series of portraits of Crimean coastal towns before traveling throughout Europe. In later life, his paintings of naval scenes earned him a long-standing commission from the Russian Navy stationed in the Black Sea. In 1845, Ivazovsky went to Constantinople upon the invitation of Sultan Abdulmesid I, a city he was to travel to eight times between 1845-1890. During his long sojourn in Constantinople, Ivazovsky was commissioned for a number of paintings as a court painter by the Ottoman sultans Abdulmesid, Abdulaziz and Abdul Hamid, 30 of which are currently on display in the Ottoman Imperial Palace, the Dolmabahce Museum and many other museums in Turkey. Ivazovsky was deeply affected by the Hamidian massacres of Armenians in Asia Minor in 1895, painting a number of works on the subject such as The Expulsion of the Turkish Ship and The Armenian Massacres at Trevisant, and renouncing a medal which had been awarded to him in Constantinople. He spent his last years in Theodosia where he supplied the town with water from his own estate, opened an art school, began the first archaeological excavations in the region and built a historical museum. Due to his efforts a commercial port was established at Theodosia and linked to the railway network. Avasovsky died in Theodosia in 1900. Ivazovsky is best known for his seascapes and coastal scenes. His technique and imagination in depicting the shimmering play of light on the waves and seafoam is especially admired 
and gives his seascapes a romantic yet realistic quality that echoes the work of English watercolorist J. M. W. Turner and Russian painter Sylvester Shedrin. Especially effective is his ability to depict diffuse sunlight and moonlight, sometimes coming from behind clouds, sometimes coming through a fog, with almost transparent layers of paint. A series of paintings of naval battles painted in the 1840s brought his dramatic skills to the fore, with the flames of burning ships reflected in water and clouds. He also painted landscapes, including scenes of peasant life in Ukraine and city life in Constantinople. Some critics have called his paintings from Constantinople Orientalist, and others feel the hundreds of seascapes can be repetitive and melodramatic. Summary of Ivan Ivazovsky Over half of Ivan Ivazovsky's some 6,000 paintings are maritime subjects and of these the most enduringly powerful are his turbulent seascapes that made him the success of the late Russian Empire. However, as momentum for change grew in late 19th century Russia, Ivazovsky's technical prowess and prolific output remained tied to his successful formula. His attachment to Romanticism remained especially apparent in his paintings of storm-tossed vessels dwarfed by natural grandeur, while his patriotic attachment to the Russia of old remained apparent in his paintings of naval victories. A younger generation of Russian artists, who engaged more creatively with a changing world, quickly eclipsed Ivazovsky in importance but the market for his work remains buoyant to this day and his best seascapes still communicate a raw energy. Accomplishments Ivazovsky was one of the last great academicians in the Russian art world, a product of the network of European academies, a westernizer due to his travels around Europe's artistic capitals, a favorite of the imperial family, but increasingly out of step with reformers calling for a more socially responsive and authentically Russian art. Ivazovsky can best be understood as the artistic boy from a poor background in a black seaport who found that well-connected patrons could transport him to the glittering world of St. Petersburg, from where he returned to his hometown a success and a celebrity. When the Black Sea erupts through the well-mannered surfaces of his paintings, as it occasionally does, the polite salons of St. Petersburg seemed to give way to the Armenian boys' abafor elemental forces. An extraordinarily fast and prolific painter, often on a grand scale, Ivazovsky at his best injected the energy of late Romanticism into scenes that were otherwise coldly accomplished in their self-conscious grandeur and striving for pathos. Some of his late seascapes embody this energy in a less mannered way and the physical expressiveness of these painted surfaces still speaks to a more modern interest in the materiality of painting. A young Ivazovsky and the elderly English painter J. M. W. Turner met when they were both visiting Rome. They admired each other's work and both painted the sea with an expressive turbulence. However, a fellow member of the Royal Academy in London could still deride Turner's late paintings as blots, whereas Ivazovsky's early work was garnering acclaim for its classical virtues. Today, we might wish that Ivazovsky had learned more from Turner, whose blots stand as triumphantly experimental precursors of a modern vision whereas Ivazovsky's body of work demonstrates how traditional virtues in painting can constrain that vision if applied too conservatively. In pursuit of the sublime, Ivan Konstantinovich. Ivazovsky's Walking Upon the Sea, 1849. From the State Art Collection of the Royal Compound in Serbia 1. The Royal Compound in Didinje acquired its shape in the period from 1922 to 1936. When the two main buildings of the Royal and White Palace were built and decorated, 2. pp. 57-98. Like many other state buildings, the Royal Palace in Didinje also houses an exquisite collection of fine arts. The painting Walking Upon the Sea by Ivazovsky was registered in the earliest inventory books dated back to 1934, 18, p. 248, il. 150. Researches of the Royal Art. Collection are still missing some essential information about its provenance. Many archival 
Documents confirm close contacts of white Russians with the court of King Alexander I and the strong influence of their artists during the Serbian interwar period. Records prove that Alexei Hansen, the grandson of Ivan Konstantinovich Ivazovsky, was under the auspices of King Alexander and some of Ivazovsky's works were purchased for the Royal Art Collection. 1. pp. 122-125. Therefore, there are good reasons to believe that the painting Walking Upon the Sea reached the collection through Alexei. Walking Upon the Sea by Ivazovsky from the State Art Collection of the Royal Compound. In Belgrade is one of the few examples of religious seascapes within the prolific oeuvre of this important 19th-century Russian maritime painter, 16, pp. 57-98. With the help of artistic means, the painter revised the literary model based upon the Gospel of Matthew 14, 22-34 in accordance with the romantic pathos of the 19th century. The universal archetypal value of the biblical narrative matches the general meaning of romanticism and the determinants of the period, which undoubtedly affected the choice of theme and context of the presented event. Ivazovsky usually opted for the images of peaceful fishing scenes, or harbors with countless ships indicating the strength and power of capitalist competitiveness, as well as the images of exotic coastal scenes. Additionally, he focused his attention on the documentary depictions of shipwrecks and destruction during historical naval battles, 3, pp. 18-19. Despite these images, the painter's oeuvre is most often associated with pictorial visions of marine disasters, with small fishing boats battling with destructive forces, as well as depictions of powerful ships disappearing in the whirl of giant waves.